Hey everybody, it's Shelby with Bonding of the Board Games. Just want to give you a quick review of Manhattan Project Chain Reaction. Just a super quick little filler card game. Let me show you how to play it real quick and then I'll give you my final thoughts. This is the basic setup of the game. Number of bomb cards in the middle here determined by the number of players. There are some landmarks that you can use at any time. You'll pay three of your guys to get whatever resource on the bottom. There's a load of bomb cards, so if you have one of these, it's a five or less, you can load it onto that card. What we're trying to do is we're going to, if you can imagine, we also have yellow cake that will turn into uranium later. If you can imagine Dominion, but you don't get to buy your card, you just get five cards dealt to you, and that's your hand. And when you get your hand, you're going to uh, pay the number of resources at the top, and then it will give you what comes out at the bottom, and this is your chain reaction. So currently, this is the first turn. I have no yellow cake at all. There's no way I can get that, so I'll probably want to use this guy. And uh, let's just say I use him, an engineer. So that's two guys, which provides me two guys. So I get this, which gets me two yellow cake. So I come over here and take two yellow cakes. And yellow cakes stay in your hand from round to round until you use them. And then I also have, I could do two guys, that has two guys, so I'll just burn these two guys to activate, no, it's two workers, I don't have two workers. So I'll spend uh, these two guys, it's only one, ah, this is kind of the puzzle of the game, you just got five cards in your hand, make the most of it, and then go on and on and on, until you can, uh, some of the cards will let you transfer yellow cake to uranium, and then uranium is what you're going to use to build the bombs. And you need a scientist or engineers, and then uranium, and that'll get your bomb into your tableau. First person to 10 will trigger in game. Uh, what's cool is it comes when you're buying uranium and stuff using your yellow cake. On the back of the card is the uranium. It usually costs three for a twofer. And, uh, it costs five to get a three. The Kickstarter game came with these wood bits, which are kind of cool, but they don't add anything to the game and just take up more space. I, I really like having the cards with stuff on the back. The art's kind of cool, but every hand, this is all you do. You get five cards. What can I do with them? Hey, that's it. Like this card, for instance, here, I can spin two guys. I can either get two cards from the deck and use them, or I can make my opponent discard two cards. So, whoop de do. Do you want to hurt uh, your opponent or do you want to help yourself? There's a few cards that let you use one of these landmarks for free. And I think whoever gets those, honestly, has a much better chance of winning the game because you get a free uranium for nothing. So, it's kind of a neat concept, but I, I really didn't enjoy it that much. I'd give it eh, six or seven, maybe. Played three games solo. When you play solo, you just... Uh, you go through the deck one time, see how many bombs you can make, and keep track of your score. Which is kind of interesting, but you don't really... You're not deciding the fate of the game. You're getting these five cards, deal with them. Which is kind of a neat puzzle, but it's not something I'd want to play all the time. Alright, well that's Manhattan Project Chain Reaction. Eh, it's an okay card game. Just kind of deal with what you're dealt in your hand. You don't really get a lot of choices on what you do with your hand or how you get it. It's just, here's five cards, figure out what the best thing you can do. And go. What'd you ladies think about it? I liked it. It took me a while to get used to it with knowing that you had to have certain things before you could use the ability on that card. Because at first I was like, there you go, I got it. But then I realized that you had to do it. So it takes a little while to learn, but I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah, and the second time through was easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bit of AP that can slow the game down. <laughs> it's like, oh, how do I figure out this puzzle? And we're all like, oh, I'll go get something to eat for a while. It was okay. Solo game, eh, I don't know. I think we all agree that this would be a better game to play. Biblios, Dr. Finn. But uh, it's okay. It's a $10 game online. It's something you play. The art's cool. But meh. It's just an average game. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye. Bye.